Hello, this is Chove, the Shiny Colors Discord. Welcome to another episode of the Shiny Review. Today, we've got two new cards to talk about. Technically three, but one of those cards is more or less a card you only get for the sake of getting for the character. So we won't really go too in-depth with that. Other than that, Fuyuko has a banner currently. If you fully upgrade her, you get an alternate artwork for her, which adjusts the expression and gets you a special title. So only really pull this if you are a Fuyuko P. Now, the main reason we're here today is for the new produce SSR for Mami Me, as well as the support SSR for Tenka. Both of these cards are limited, so if you want them, now is realistically your only time to get them. Starting things off then, we have Mami Me, who is a vocal unit. Her initial appeal is a vocal 0.8 to 4.0 that hits all judges and scales based on how low your current attention is. This also grants you one random effect of the following. A vocal 5% buff, 50% buff, 100% buff, 150% buff, or 200% buff for three turns. So you could roll it and get the 5% or you roll it and get the 200%. Just gotta test your luck on these appeals. The plus appeal, which requires all of Antica, and for it to be turn one, is a judge 30% interest down for one turn. The upgraded version of the appeal is a vocal 1.0 to 5.0 to all judges that scales based on how low your attention is, and has the same random effect of one of the following buffs. It's a vocal 5%, 50%, 100%, 150%, or 200% up for four turns. The plus appeal, which requires all of Antica and for it to be turned two or earlier, is a judge interest 50% down for one turn. Her one star passive is a vocal 60% up if it's turned two or earlier, and it has a 35% chance to activate once. Her two star passive is a vocal 120% up if you have three or more Antica members in your skill history. This has a 25% chance to activate twice. Her four star passive is a vocal 150% up if you have one or more attention down buff and your current mental is less than 74%. Her total uncap when maxed out is a plus 400 to vocal. Her memory appeal when maxed out is a vocal 3.0 that ignores the judge's interest and links into a vocal 3.0 that ignores the judge's interest. Mommy Me is a bit of an oddity as per usual. Her appeals being AoE scaling on attention down feels like a pretty direct correlation to the last couple of cards that Vocal Antica has gotten. We were bringing up the fact that they had attention down, and it's like, okay, yeah, that makes sense, but we really need to pay off for it, and that's what Mommy Me is for. The buff effect on her appeals is a bit of a nightmare. I don't know why they decided specifically this gimmick of getting a random buff out of a hat is the thing this year, but that's what we're rolling with, and gambling seems to be what they want every team to do now. Her memory appeal overall feels pretty solid. A vocal 6.0 that ignores interest means that you do not have to run into any problems if you face off against other Antica members, but it also means you do not reap the benefits of, say, characters that are using Daikichi to set up higher attention, so that way, or not higher attention, but higher interest, so that way you can deal higher damage along with it. You wouldn't be able to reap that benefit, which could be a bit of a problem. So, I would say that she's a situational center depending on what the format of players are trying to do. If you are noticing a lot of Daikichi, and it is specifically on turns that are really late where you want memory appeal, then Mami Mi's good. If it's something where there's a lot of interest up on judges, then Mami Mi is going to be less good. So, do have a little bit of self-judgment when you're deciding if you want to use Mami Mi as your center or somebody else. Her passives are solid and should work just fine on the team. Their conditions aren't too hard to fulfill and honestly will probably be some of the more consistent stuff you're using. I would give her an A to A plus as a unit. I'm still not entirely sure if she deserves the S just because she's an AoE unit, but she's real close. So I do think that this Mommy Me is real strong. I just wish that her passives, or not passives, but the passive effects on her appeals were a bit stronger or more consistent at the very least. 200% is very strong, it's just you got a 20% chance of hitting it. As a center, I would say she's a B plus to an A minus. So next then, we have Tenka, a visual support. Her masteries include Unit Mastery SP, reaching plus 12 at level 75, otherwise plus 10 at level 65. She has Visual Mastery Visual Limit Up, reaching plus 6 at level 75, otherwise down to plus 2 at level 60. Excellent boost, which reaches 
plus 10 at level 80, otherwise plus 6 at level 70. Unit Mastery Visual, reaching plus 10 at level 80, otherwise plus 6 at level 65. And finally, she has Visual Stay Mastery, reaching plus 3 at level 75, otherwise plus 1 at level 60. I would say these are pretty good. Again, this is about the bog standard. The visual uncapped is cool, and it's a little bit higher because there are only three members, so the theoretical plus 12 is appreciated. And everything else here is good as well. I do appreciate excellent boost, so that way the growth can be just a little bit higher. As for the rest of what Tenka does, her initial appeal is a visual 2.5 that grants a mental 1% regen for two turns and an immediate mental 2% heal. The 4-star version of the appeal is a visual 3.5 that grants a mental 1% regen for three turns and an immediate 5% heal. Her 1-star passive is a visual 50% up and mental 5% heal if it's turn 3 or earlier and it has a 20% chance to activate twice. Her 2-star passive is a visual 130% up if you have the full Alstromedia lineup and have 5 or more healing instances in that Fess run. This has a 20% chance to activate twice. Finally, a visual 100% passive at 4 stars if you are in the visual position and has a 20% chance to activate once. Her total uncap is... 250 to visual. Tenka is pretty solid overall. I don't really have a lot to say about this card functionally. She is basically the bog standard for most of the strong limited supports. I think the passives make the most sense. The appeals are kind of questionable, but having access to theoretically four heals on the four star appeal can be nice if you are somebody that's trying to look for as many healing instances as possible. Her one star passive honestly should be pretty good if you're able to put her on, say, like the leader position so that it's a much more consistent activation on the early turns, that should help towards getting those heal stacks up as much as possible for the later turns. So overall, I think this card is pretty cool and certainly worth it if you are building either a pure visual build with a bunch of Astral supports or specifically visual Astral Maria as a team. I would give her a pretty easy A to A+. So, that will do it for the video today. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Next time, we'll be talking about the upcoming banner, which actually got revealed today as of recording. It is the Parallel Collection series, this time starring Meguru and Rinze. I know a lot of people that are really scared about that banner. I'm kind of curious to see what attributes they're going to pick. A lot of people are thinking Rinze will be visual. I'm kind of hoping one of them will be rainbow. Maybe it'll be Meguru. We'll just have to see. So, till then, I've been Cho. Thank you so much as always for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day.